Well, you know, I do think that most Amazon sellers encounter our organization when they're just setting up their seller accounts and listing products for the first time. Now, a lot of times that's the first time they're going to hear about us. You know, if you don't have a traditional retail background, you might not know who we are. So um, let me explain who we are. GS1 US is a member organization of GS1, which is the largest global supply chain standards organization in the world. So yes, as an Amazon seller, if you're importing, warehousing, shipping, and selling product, you are part of the supply chain. Um, a lot of sellers just think we are the issuer of the global trade item number or UPC, which we do, but we do much more than that. And I'll explain some of those things um, later on in the podcast if we have time. What I wanted your listeners to know is that GS1 US is a not-for-profit organization. Um, we are industry and member driven. And so I thought, you know, let me tell you just a quick story about how we got started and it might explain what that means. So over 50 years ago, the grocery industry was having problems getting their customers through the checkout line in a timely manner. Each item coming through had to literally be manually rung up. To make this problem worse, price changes were also done manually on the retail floor. It took a lot of time, it took a lot of labor, not to mention this whole process was very error prone. So the grocery industry came together and they decided they needed to find a solution to automate and solve these problems. What they did is they put together a group of experts from the industry to find a solution to the problem, in which they did. They adopted the UPC barcode as the tool to automate checkout and price lookup. On June 26, 1974, at Marsh's Grocery Store in Troy, Ohio, the first item ever scanned was a 10-pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. And today, there's over 6 billion transactions on a daily basis by companies that use GS1 standards. So from this initiative, they created a not-for-profit company to help manage and gain adoption of this new UPC standard. And today, that company has grown into GS1. So let me just explain a little bit further. GS1 US began working in the um, every vertical of retail from grocery to consumer packaged goods to apparel and general merchandise. So what I want your listeners to do is think about the retail industry pre-internet. So before there was an Amazon or there was even an internet, I like to call this legacy retail. So pre-internet, if you were a seller, but you didn't have an internet to sell on. Um, so let's say you're a seller or brand and you wanted to get your products into the marketplace. This is what you'd have to do. Number one, you'd have to find the retail buyer of the store that you wanted to get into. You'd have to try to get an appointment to pitch your product, or you would go to a trade show, set up a booth. It was very costly. And again, hope a buyer would walk by. If you were lucky enough to get your brand um, into somebody's store, or let's say even luckier still, and you get it into uh, maybe two or three stores, you would then have to follow those specific retailers' guidelines to get your products into the store. So for example, retailer A would have their list of guidelines, retailer B would have their list of guidelines, and retailer C would have their list of guidelines. So as a supplier, you had to kind of, you know, figure out what each one of those were. Well, over time, the retail community realized they could improve efficiencies by utilizing one common language or a set of standards so retailers and suppliers could conduct business at scale. They selected GS1 standards to facilitate unique product identification, unique logistics identification, and the exchange of documents like um, purchase orders and invoice in order to grow that scale. Okay, so we're in that legacy retail environment. Next, e-commerce becomes the new sales channel in the market. And what this did is it allowed millions of brands to enter the market and essentially just sidestep going through a retailer and they could connect with their consumers directly. Well, if you think about how e-commerce has evolved, over time we've seen the emergence of marketplaces, large retailers, so all these legacy retailers shifting and going online. And then you have all the businesses in between. You have 3PLs, solution providers like SellerApp, agencies, all these companies um, that were helping, um, you know, they're getting into the game and helping these sellers connect with customers in all the places that they shop. And we know consumers shop everywhere today. Well, as these platforms have grown and they're ingesting more and more product data, they've begun looking for ways to standardize their business process as well, to enable faster and improved product search, speed at receiving, picking and packing, and being able to verify and authenticate the products that are coming onto their platforms. They don't see them every day. 
So many of these companies have turned to GS1 standards to help them solve these problems. So that's kind of who we are and how we're working in the e-commerce space today. Hey, it's Ria Mittal here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to SellerApp's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon and some how-to guides that will make sure that you're running on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.